Syrian state television says Russian warplanes bombed ISIS targets in and around the ancient city of Palmyra. The newest Russian attacks followed dangerous encounters with U.S.-led coalition warplanes. Coalition sources, forces say they launched 24 airstrikes in Iraq and Syria on Monday. They're trying to intensify the campaign against ISIS. David Martin visited El Udid Air Base in Qatar, where they are trying to keep those two air commands apart. Almost as soon as we arrived here at the Air Operations Center, Russian aircraft had their closest run-in yet with American warplanes over Syria, coming within 20 miles of each other. It happened while Lieutenant General Charles Brown was showing us his command center for the air war against ISIS. You can see it on the screen. The Russian planes are yellow, the Americans green. U.S. pilots flying F-16s out of Turkey first picked up the Russian planes on radar. The Russians closed to within 20 miles at which point the American pilots could visually identify them on their targeting cameras. According to Brown, the Russians have come even closer than that to his unmanned drones. Closest has been, uh, you know, within a, a handful of miles into our, uh, some of our, our remotely piloted aircraft. But for our, our manned aircraft, uh, you know, not the closest, about 20 miles is about the closest we've seen. Brown says the impact on the air campaign has been minimal, but he has been forced to work around the Russians. Could they just crowd you out of Syria? No, I don't think so. And partly because after a week of flying, we have a, a fairly good idea of where and when they're flying. And uh, we're up a lot more often than they are. And, and so when we do have to move around uh, for that safe separation, it's for a small period of time compared to the uh, hours and hours we're airborne over Iraq and Syria. Despite the Russians, Brown says he plans to increase airstrikes against ISIS sanctuaries in Syria. The goal of the air campaign is to destroy ISIS, but the crews of these B-1 bombers now have an additional mission. Keep a safe distance between themselves and the Russians. For CBS This Morning, this is David Martin at Al Uday Air Base in Qatar. Great report by David. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, fascinating to see. This looks like for control of the airspace over Syria, as well as, you know, I mean, now this report, which is front page of the paper today that Russian soldiers may join the Syrian fight. This is what they're up. calling volunteers. 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 And you would ask Putin yes. about that in your interview, about whether would, he was would in he ground have forces. Russian combat troops, and he said, no, not at this time. Yeah, the word volunteers is very interesting in mm. that particular case. Mm. Great to let us go behind the scenes that way. I mean, Thank 20 you, 20 miles David. in the air among jets is not very far apart. Uh, exactly. Yeah.